Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, we are going to discuss random questions, viva or interview questions that you may get if you have industrial microbiology subject in your syllabus. OK, so this can be related to your practical exam or any interview. OK, so let's start. So first is what is industrial microbiology? So industrial microbiology, it involves using various microorganisms which are useful to us. We explore, exploit them and we use them to produce products for economic of economic importance such as antibiotics, enzymes, amino acids, um, organic acids, alcohol, fermented food, etc. So industrial microbiology, it focuses on optimizing conditions for large scale microbial processes. OK, so you can answer at least one or two points, important points here. Next is which microorganisms are commonly used in industrial microbiology. So in case of enzymes, you can name one, two. In case of, say, fermentation, you can name Saccharomyces cerevisiae or Aspergillus niger, uh, Escherichia coli, etc. When it comes to antibiotic, you can name penicillin. OK, so likewise, you uh, make your answer, write your answer and be prepared. So each of these uh, microbes, they are employed for producing different products like ethanol, enzymes, antibiotics, etc. Now, what is fermentation in context of industrial microbiology? Now, fermentation is a very, very uh, important subject. OK, uh, it is also a vast subject because you have fermentation technology separately. OK, so fermentation in case of industrial microbiology. Now, fermentation is used for production of the different kinds of uh, metabolic products, right? So for example, it can be aerobic or it can be anaerobic. It depends. So where where you are applying to which company you are applying, what kind of products they produce or manufacture, what kind of fermentations they carry out. You should know that have your basics clear depending on that. OK, so fermentation is a process of microbial metabolism that occurs under uh, anaerobic or limited oxygen. OK, conditions. Now, in industrial applications, it is used to produce products such as alcohol, organic acids, antibiotics, etc. And this can be done from a pilot scale to a large scale. OK, so in R&D, if you're applying, you should know about uh, lab scale, pilot scale. OK, then what is tech transfer? OK, so this comes for R&D department. Then uh, next is what are single cell proteins and their industrial importance? So single cell protein, that is SCP, they refer to protein rich biomass from organisms like algae, yeast or bacteria. It's used as animal feed supplement or a potential human food source due to its high nutritional value and fast growth rate. OK. So that is also a very important part of industrial microbiology. So there are see different aspects, different topics, subtopics which you learn in industrial microbiology. OK, so it is difficult for me to uh, note down questions on each topic. So this, these are random questions to give you an idea that what kind of questions you may get. Right. Then next is what are different types of fermentation processes? So submerged fermentation, solid state fermentation. OK, then depending on the product, depending on the reactor, you may have uh, continuous batch. OK, so it depends. Now submerged fermentation is microorganisms are grown in a liquid medium uh, and it is used for mostly antibiotic or enzyme production and other secondary metabolites. Solid state fermentation is where microbes are grown on solid material with minimal free water. OK, and is used in the production of certain enzymes and fermented foods. Then what is the role of bioreactor uh, in industrial microbiology? Now, bioreactors, they are actually vessels which we use for fermentation. OK, so a bioreactor is a vessel that provides optimal conditions for microbial growth. Uh, and production product formation such as temperature, oxygen, uh, uh, pH, then nutrient supply, etc. It ensures that the industrial fermentation process is scalable and efficient. OK, 
then another question is what is the difference between primary and secondary metabolite okay why because we do screening for secondary metabolite producing microbes we do screening for antibiotic producing microbes right so you should know that what is the difference between primary metabolites and secondary metabolites so primary metabolites are essential for microbial growth and include products like ethanol amino acids organic acids secondary metabolites are not essential for growth but they are produced in this stationary phase okay uh, like antibiotics and alkaloids now when you mention stationary phase you may get a question depending on the uh, bacterial growth curve okay so i hope you know that then next is what are the environmental benefits of industrial microbiology so do we learn anything about environmental benefits so yes we learn about bioremediation right so industrial microbiology offers eco friendly solutions like bioremediations to uh, degrade pollutants biofuel production to reduce carbon emission and biodegradation of plastic these are few points which are related to the environmental benefits okay then it promotes sustainable industrial practices by utilizing renewable resources this can be your answer then how is strain improvement achieved in industrial microbiology so strain improvement can be done using methods like mutation genetic engineering adaptive evolution etc now this can enhance or this actually helps to enhance the productivity resistance to the given stress conditions or the ability to use cheaper raw materials that's why we do strain improvement now what is upstream and downstream processing you should know that so upstream is all the processes before fermentation such as media production sorry media preparation sterilization inoculum development these all come in upstream product processing then in downstream processing is after fermentation so that is your manufacturing uh, fermentation your product is uh, getting manufactured or produced in the bioreactor after that you need to purify so this comes in downstream processing it involves purification recovery packaging of the final product like separating cells from the fermentation broth or extracting the desired metabolites okay then what are antibiotics and how are they produced industrially antibiotics are secondary metabolites which are produced by microorganisms that inhibit or kill other microbes okay so they are typically produced by fermenting microorganisms like streptomyces penicillium etc on large scale bioreactors okay in large scale bioreactors so here you may get a counter question maybe yeah, i don't know i'm not sure but you may get a counter question on uh, antibiotic resistance okay so how to tackle with that etc etc then what is the significance of microbial enzymes in industrial processes so microbial enzymes uh they there are many enzymes but to list uh 2 3 you can say proteases amylases lipases they are highly valued in industries like food textile detergent due to their efficiency and specificity then uh they help in you can say uh, reducing the chemical uses and use uses and uh, operating at milder conditions okay this can be your answer then next is what are probiotics and how are they produced now probiotics are uh, live microorganisms that provide health benefits when they are consumed in adequate amounts so they are produced through fermentations using strains of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium and they often uh, they are added to dairy products or supplement for example we see advertisement of yakult on tv right so that is a probiotic drink okay so what is microbial biomass production and what are its application so microbial biomass production involves cultivating microorganisms to be used as food or feed examples include single cell protein or spirulina or yeast which are rich in protein and uh, used in animal feed or as a human supplement okay so 
Another is, what are the applications of Saccharomyces cerevisiae in industrial microbiology? Now, it is a yeast, right? So it is widely used in baking and brewing industries for fermenting sugars to alcohol or ethanol and carbon dioxide. And it is crucial for alcohol production and uh, uh, leavening bread, okay? Now, what role do organic acids play in industrial microbiology? So organic acids are another uh, uh, metabolite that microorganisms they produce. So organic acids like citric acid, lactic acid, acetic acid, they are produced by fermentation and they're important in food preservation, in flavoring food, in pharmaceuticals, okay? And they are precursors to various chemical industries as well, okay? So yes, even organic acids. Next is how are biofuels produced through industrial microbiology? Now, uh, here you need to know about the basic chemical reaction that happens here to convert or to ferment the sugar or starches into bioethanol. And uh, generally here, yeast and bacteria are used, okay, uh, to ferment the sugar and starches to bioethanol. And algae is used to produce biodiesel, okay. So you should know the basic concept here, basic reaction. And even you should know the basics like which sugar is commonly used or which kind of starch is commonly used for fermentation here, then there are different, there are different types of sugars. So you, can you use all kind of sugars? Then there are D form and L form of sugars. And you should know their structure because if you are applying to a company or an institute where uh, biofuel work is done, then you should know these basics, okay? So you can answer like organisms, uh, yeast and bacteria are used to ferment sugar and starches to convert or to produce bioethanol and algae is used for biodiesel. Now these biofuels, they are renewable energy sources helping to reduce our reliance on the fossil fuels, okay? So this is the alternative to the fossil fuels and that's the reason why nowadays a lot of work is uh, going on on biofuels. The next is what is significance of sterilization in industrial microbiology? Now, this is very basic, basic question. So sterilization and disinfection is very important as we are dealing with microorganisms here. Uh, we are um, interested in manufacturing a desired product where microorganisms are involved. So to prevent contamination of fermentation processes, sterilization is important, okay? Now sterilization, it involves killing or removal of all life forms okay from the fermenters or the culture media that is used or any kind of equipments that we use during our fermentation or any kind of experiment then what is the role of genetic engineering in industrial microbiology so here you can get a question on genetically modified plants and animals also so just have one or two examples uh, in your mind you learn about the basic concept also now, genetic engineering, it allows uh, for the modification of microorganisms to enhance their productivity, to introduce new pathways to produce novel compounds, okay? Now, it, it is widely used for producing recombinant proteins like insulin, recombinant insulin where we use E. coli, okay? And to increase the yields in fermentation, right? Then the last question is how is microbial contamination controlled in industrial processes? Now, contamination is controlled by maintaining sterile conditions as good as possible, okay? Then using antibiotics when appropriate, employing proper filtration systems, monitoring the microbial purity throughout the process, okay? These are some steps which help to control the contamination in industrial processes, okay? Then there are clean rooms. You need to maintain those. There is HVAC uh, unit installed. So maintaining the uh, clean room environment is very important, okay? So I hope you have a good idea now what kind of questions you may get and how deeply you need to prepare because industrial microbiology is a separate subject where everything is a mixture, okay? The subjects are vast and 
you should know the basics okay first of all whether it is your practical or you are applying for an interview please learn what kind of uh, products the company manufactures or the industry or the institute is working on then what uh, fermentation what kind of fermentations they uh, carry out whether it is a bacterial or cell line fermentation etc then in case of uh, viva just be thorough with your syllabus with your journal and be ready okay so all the best thank you